distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning to each one of you. It's really a great honor for me to be here this morning uh, to welcome you all to the AAS Secretariat on the occasion of the high profile visit by Professor Jean Pierre Bourguignon, President of the European Research Council. Uh, today, we're going to hear about opportunities in terms of research collaboration and how we can take STI forward for the African continent. The event we are hosting here today is to basically look at how we can take opportunities that the EU presents for Africa to a greater many African countries. So the purpose of today's event is to share with those fellows and affiliates that are located in Kenya and East Africa the opportunities that the EU present. The Horizon 2020 is the main research and innovation program of the European Union. It involves uh, about 30 billion euros of investment for 2018-2020. And so it's the main axis of our efforts to open new avenues for researchers uh, all over the world. It's generally said that there are only three things you can give a young person. Give them some good education, make sure they're in good health, and then give them a problem to solve. So the one thing that I bring back home is that there is a need for more information, for sure. We are far from you, we are physically far from our Kenyan partners, and it is important to make sure that these kind of events are organized more often. And that's uh, one of the purposes of my visit, to make it better understood, to explain what we do, and to explain how we do things. I think. Uh, Definitely the situation in Africa is changing. Uh, in particular, the massive presence of young people is uh, going to play a decisive role for the future of the continent. And from that point of view, what is very critical is to get research recognized as a way of also the continent to move forward. Uh, being a beneficiary of the European Commission 2020 program is very key, especially for Africa considering that it's an opportunity for Africa to live frock and catch up with the developed countries.